Hey everyone, so thought I'd make this video because uh, if you're following the Mandela Effect, uh, you might you might find uh, this video extremely interesting. Um, I stumbled across something um, and I thought I'd share it with, with everyone out there. Um, so the 18th of September 2008 is when CERN fired up. Uh, it's when it, when it all began, right? So keep that date in mind, September of 2008, right? So here's our first Mandela Effect example. And look, look I have all these tabs. Uh, it's quite a, quite a few, right? So here, Skechers. Uh, Skechers shoes and Skechers with a T. Um, the one with a T is wrong. The one without is correct. Um, right here, September of 2008, is where the two graphs diverge from each other. Crazy coincidence, right? So let's go to the next one. Interview with a vampire, an interview with the vampire, right? So the red one is correct, the blue one isn't. Um, you can see the blue one is underneath red for most of the time, and then right here on September of 2008, they swap places, and now the blue one is on top. Uh, it's so crazy, so crazy. Uh, next one. Uh, Berenstain Bears, Berenstain Bears, Bernstein Bears, and Bernstein Bears, right? So you can see right here, September 2008 is when the blue graph starts pivoting upwards. The slope of it changes from being flat to now it's starting to go up. Um, at the same time that it's starting to pivot upwards, all the other misspellings of it are now they trend downwards and then they hit the bottom of the graph and they kind of bounce up slightly, but since September of 2008, they go down and then they flatline, at least until everyone starts researching the Mandela effect. So, crazy coincidence. Uh, next one. A lot of people remember Depends with an S for the adult diapers, um, but it really has no S. So you can see here, the red one, uh, it, the slope of it is pretty much flat, but uh, the one with an S, the incorrect version, it has this downward slope and the point at which it pivots, so it, it's going angling down, and then at this point is where the slope changes, and right there is September of 2008. Here we have Luke, I am your father, and no, I am your father. Again, the blue graph starts angling upwards, it pivots right on September of 2008. Ed McMahon, Publishers Clearinghouse, and Ed McMahon, American Family Publishers. Uh, this is incorrect. The blue is incorrect. The red is correct. Again, you have this odd slope. Look, it, you can trace it. It forms this perfect kind of curve going down, and the curve hits bottom right on September of 2008. Here we have the Mandela Effect. So uh, for this one, I had to only go to uh, uh, November 1st, 2013, because if I left it all in, there's this huge spike because it became popular and it <clears throat> we don't get as much detail in the graph. But this is very interesting. So we have Mandela Effect, Mandela Effects, Effects from Mandela, People Affected by Mandela, and When Did Mandela Die? So we have this same kind of curve downwards and the slope hits bottom right around 2008, and then it starts going up. So it's actually, uh, it, it pivots down to 2008, and then it pivots back up. It forms the focal point of this graph. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting. Um, this one's not as remarkable, but it's still worth a mention. Jiffy peanut butter and Jiff peanut butter. Um, there's this huge spike in January 2009 um, September 2008 is right before that, that spike. Um, I'm, I'm sure though, if, if I didn't have enough time to look into this one, but I'm sure if I like zoomed in on it, um, and got rid of this spike, maybe I'd be able to see some other kind of coincidence there. <clears throat> Here's a crazy one. So a lot of people remember, uh, a Sinbad movie, um, called Shazam. So we have Sinbad Shazam, Sinbad Genie, and Shazam movie. And you can see this slope downwards. And then at the bottom of the slope is September of 2008. Um, 
We have Sex in the City TV show and Sex and the City TV show. Um, again, you have this the red one, which is the, the real um, version. Um, it kind of does this slope downwards, um, and here's 2008. Um, it's not as remarkable as the other ones, but um, uh, yeah. So basically, right before September 2008 is the last huge spike um, of red before it closely... Uh, tracks with the incorrect version. Here's the Monopoly monocle. Uh, here is September 2008, and here is this slope downwards. And you can see it's almost a perfect line, a bullseye right here, on September of 2008. Um, Oscar Mayer wiener and Oscar Mayer wiener. Um, again, uh, here uh, <laughs> the incorrect version is in. Uh, blue um, and the correct version is in red and you can see the same slope downwards until 2008 and then again kind of like with interview uh, with a vampire um, here's the point where they soon change places and now the red correct version is above the blue pretty interesting uh, here we have Queen champions of the world um, uh, September 2008, you can see the graph goes down. So you have this angle, and then you have a pivot, and then it's flat. And where it pivots is September of 2008. Here we have Curious George, tail. Um, again, you see this curve down, and the bottom of the curve is September of 2008. Um, Chick-fil-A, uh, the correct spelling. Um, you can see it kind of tracks. You can see b bumps where it, it tracks. Um, but here, September of 2008, is where you can see the blue one pivot and break away from the yellow and red. And then here is where people start researching it, and we get this bump again. Um, but yeah, this is where uh, it starts to pivot upwards. See, it's a beautiful day. In the neighborhood. Again, we have this crazy slope down, and at the bottom is September of 2008. Uh, life was like a box of chocolates. Life is like a box of chocolates. Check it out. September 2008, it significantly starts to diverge. Crazy. Uh, here we have Hannibal. Hello, Clarice. Um, it does that similar thing where it slopes downwards, hits the bottom, and then it's flat. Pretty crazy. Here we have uh, Fruit Loop cereal, uh, spelt the um, incorrect way in blue and the correct way in red. You can see the blue is above the red most of the time um, until it hits around this time period, which is uh, September of 2008. Um, interesting fact, if I go, if I change it to going to October um, of 2010, uh, you can see that there's this downward slope here, this downward slope in blue, down to September of 2008. The slope ends. Crazy coincidence. Here's Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa's smile and Mona Lisa no smile. Um, I mean, there was always searches for Mona Lisa no smile, but you could see this crazy spike of blue, and then it and then it goes down, and then it gets lower and lower, and then it hits like virtually nothing on September of two thousand and eight. So I don't know, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. I think it's quite a coincidence that I have literally one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty Mandela effects that all have something interesting or odd happen around September of 2008. And then, of course, CERN fires up September of 2008. I'm sure more Mandela effects you could, if you zoom in and you get the right perspective on the graph, you'll see something interesting happen around that time. Um, I was amazed. I, I looked these up one by one, and every time I found one that had this divergence or it had some kind of 
interesting coincidence happen. Um, it made I started looking up more and more, and and I just this is where all these tabs came from. I, every every one that I searched for, I I ended up finding something like this, and and it's just uh, I don't know. It's mind boggling. I, I don't know if it means anything or if it's literally just a coincidence. But uh, uh, leave your comments. Uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, thanks.